two things happened today. So I asked the girls, you know, do you guys like making videos? Because we ask them this every few months just to keep gauging what they like, their interests, if they still want to do it. Like I, I ask every couple of months just to really and I tell them. And I don't ask them as we're doing a video. I don't ask them, you know, at any point. I just will randomly ask. We'll just be sitting down just like, hey, girls, like, do you, you know, do you, do you still like doing videos? Do you like doing videos? So I asked them today and they both said yes, but... Um, I don't like, this is what Alexis said. I don't like when I have to change my clothes for a video. <laughs> and oh, okay. I laughed at her. I said, well, Alexis, you know, the reason why sometimes I'll say that it's not even about getting fancy or looking a certain way is that, oh, you have a stain on your shirt today or, yeah. you know. Well, you that's know. like saying, let's go out to eat. We, we got to change your shirt. Exactly. That's what I told her. It's the same thing. If we were going yeah. out in public somewhere, I wouldn't be like, Alexis, wear that stained shirt. I, I tell you to change. I said, that's the reason, you know, if we're just laying around the house, you want to wear your crappy shirt? I'm sure. Whatever. It's about presentation in general. If you were walking anywhere, I wouldn't let you go out the house like that. Um, and Ava said, yes, I do like making videos, except for sometimes I don't get it. <laughs> she said, sometimes I don't get, I don't, I don't even get how this is interesting. I don't get to how some of the stuff ones we do are interesting. I said, okay. I understand you're saying that, but also... Because he's seven, right? Yeah. Right. Or, or dad has said something that he thinks is funny. I'm just like, I don't see how this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, you know, we would do these videos for entertainment. So sometimes you don't get what's happening or you don't get the humor. And it says, sometimes I don't get your dad's humor either. But if he thinks it's funny, he thinks it's funny. We're all trying to entertain. Sure. So it's not that big a deal. We just move on. You know, when I said that, I was like, yeah, okay, I guess. So they, they express what parts of it they don't like or what they don't understand. Well, I think it's good you know? to constantly communicate with them because it lets them know that they're part of the business. Yeah. It's not, they're not a pawn in this. They're not like, you do this for us. We basically yeah, try this, to do this certain dance so we can get, yeah, you know. do, do this thing. We, we <laughs> ask them to participate and to contribute. When people talk about families are using their kids, they, they got it really twisted. We're doing this because we make entertainment for people that enhances their lives. It is positive. Mm -hmm. It makes people smile. The world needs that. Yeah. So why not embrace people that are trying to do that in a with a positive spin on it and say this is awesome for the world instead of instead of saying you're using your kids. That part of it is super annoying. And then there's those comments of people who I talk about the Instagram. Yeah, especially lately, not Instagram, Facebook, like pictures of the girls. Some of, some of them lately, people have words like, oh, uh, you know, this, this is too grown or whatever the case may be. We can show some of the pictures here. I just look like, what what is grown about this? You realize these, they're, they're not three anymore. This is the biggest thing. They are no yeah. longer three. They are about to be eight. And when I say that, please understand, I'm not even saying like they're wearing like string bikinis. It's they're literally, I mean, their elbows are out. It's right. like, what are you talking about? Their hair is blown straight. Suddenly it's too grown. Since when it was having straight hair too grown? Or like today's picture I posted, they had their natural curly hair and they were posed like this. Like, oh, these poses. What po What can you do? Standing like, there? People don't understand modeling. That's the thing. People don't understand modeling. And then they're like, oh, why can't you just let them be kids? Like, what are you talking about? They're, they are kids. They're the kids standing there. You know, just because they're doing what they are good at. They're good at it. Right. So when they pose, it comes across amazing. Like a, they're good like at a big girl. It. Exactly. Right. So, and people have that statement and I become, not, I don't, don't want to say defensive, but I become, that's what? when I start to say, well, this growing up on social media thing, people don't allow people to grow up. Yeah, it's all for like when they're three years old, look at these cute kids because we saw a viral video. But what should they be doing when they're eight? Should they be uh, listening to Mary Had a Little Lamb? Should they be like, no, they, they're going to grow up. And if people are going to support them and the girls want to be actresses, they like being YouTubers. So we have to allow them to be who they are at this phase, just like anybody else. It, that's exactly the thing. And, and like I said, it's to me, like I am the queen of making sure that they are not inappropriate. And you know that, Justin, I will quickly be like, yeah, no, yep. you can't wear that, you know, or you can't buy that or you can't have this. So I monitor for myself what I feel is age appropriate. And, and I think you agree with me as far as them being age appropriate all the time. Yeah. So when I see these comments, I'm like, you people are either living in the dark ages or you're absolutely nuts or mm -hmm. you think they're three. I actually made a response to somebody today and I was like, so what, what should they be wearing at almost eight onesies? Yeah. You want them to wear baby onesies? Like, what are you talking about? She's literally wearing a shirt and shorts and Ava's wearing long pants, a, a tank top yeah. jumpsuit, long pants. Like, mind blown. What is so crazy here? 
Right. What is so crazy here? You know, and it's not everybody, obviously, but it's enough sometimes that I'm just like, growing up on social yeah. media is, is difficult. Well, we have, I think, part of our audience is older. Yeah. And so older conservative people, they're going to say, you know, why, why do they look like this? And especially people that are, that are more religious and more into that aspect of you shouldn't be showing yourself, then they're going to say that. We have to not care, obviously. But, we don't. but also in that aspect, just, there's literally, I mean, there's elbows and knees. Right. There's nothing showing. It, well, but like I said, the problem is because, and, and I will say this, and it's, a, it's an issue with black children is that the girls are good at this. So when they really go for it, they go for it. They're good at it. And their hair looks nice, and it, it, they are, they're styled. Mm -hmm. They're styled for the shoot. Mm -hmm. And then they get sexualized, so to speak, you know, saying this is too grown, or that why right. do they look 15. No, they don't. They don't look 15. There's nothing 15 here. Well, that brings up a good point. I posted something on Instagram a while back about how there were comments when I think Ava or Alexis, they were swinging on my lap. The, mm -hmm. the girls were swinging yeah, on my lap. Mm -hmm. And some people were just like, you know, the girls are too old to be sitting on his lap. Now they're too old. And, you know, I'm going to excuse my language at this point, but uh, I didn't mince words. You can, whatever that is, how dare you say what me and my daughter can or cannot do? You, the people looking at this, are sexualizing something that's not there. <laughs> me and my daughters have a great loving relationship. We've always been affectionate, touchy. You know, they've always sat in my lap. You know, whatever you carry them, whatever it is. At some point, they get too big. You can't carry them, but they're still affectionate. They still come over, or whatever. If somebody looks at that and they see something that they think they see, that's what you saw. What really happened is that there's a great relationship between a, a dad and a daughter. How would you not want that for all relationships? So if I see something unhealthy in something, that's my projection of what I think that might be. That is not the truth. There are so many dads out there who have great relationships with their daughters, and there are so many daughters who wish their dads were more mm -hmm. affectionate. So that's one thing that, I, that obviously annoys me. It gives me a good reason to voice my opinion about it because I think it's important. Mm -hmm. Stop over-sexualizing things that are not going on. Yep. Let's encourage moms to have great relationships with their son and dads have great relationships with their daughters. If people say things in the comments and I see it, expect me to make an example of you if you're totally wrong. And of course, you're totally wrong. Yeah, absolutely. That That's 1000% how I feel about it, which is why, you know, in saying like growing up on social media, I think it's great in the fact that we are definitely building an empire for all three of them. I think we are putting them in a position that even if they don't want to be on social media, they can use social media to be whatever they want to be. Yeah. They can be the best, you know, let's say they want to be an athlete. You have social media now to push your right. platform of mm. athleticism to where you may get bigger brand deals now because you have this big deal on plat. So we're, we're right. setting them up because no matter how you feel or think social media and, and use properly is continuing to grow.